Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to leverage and unlock Lara's inventory management system and UI and interaction ability so that you can see what, what you have in your inventory. The world collectible example is uh, hidden in the shooter maps content inside the proto folder, inventory test and you'll want to open the inventory test map. The first time you play this map, you'll notice that you cannot interact with uh, any of these world collectible items. They're actually called rocks. As you see, if you pause, or let's just stop the simulation, they are called interactable rock, and they have some under their details, you can see that they have Lyra World Collectible option, so interaction collect, and they have an item to be picked up. To enable this functionality, you need to go to the world settings and navigate to the test inventory experience. This is the experience that's loaded in for this map. So this is the experience. It has most of the usual shooter game uh, action sets. Uh, and here's the inventory test action set that has all the information to enable everything. But you'll notice in the output log, there's actually a warning about the action set being invalid. So what is happening is that you're Asset Manager doesn't know about this asset because we haven't specified it in the Shooter Maps content plugin. So the Shooter Map is under uh, Shooter Maps content, and then it's this one here. It's the data asset. So we, what you need to do is you need to go under Asset Manager, and under Primary Asset Types to scan, you can add. So you need to add the asset type to scan called Lara Experience Action Set. Okay, and you need to type it in, Lara Experience Action Set. And then you need to specify which one you want to load. So this one is called LAS Inventory Test. And then you save. And then you'll need to restart your editor. So I'll just get, go ahead and do that. Okay, so when you, after you restart your editor, when you play, you'll see a debug line. This is the interaction trace. So it's to determine what you can interact with. Um, but you'll notice that when you press E, which should be for interact, nothing is happening. This is because uh, Melee and Interact are bound to the same key. So let's just change pick up or interact to V for now. To change that binding, you need to go under the proto folder, inventory test, input, and then mappings. And then it'll be under the inventory test. As you can see, it's set to E. Uh, let's change it to V for now. So V, save. And then when we play, you should be able to pick up the rocks, AKA the big cubes. So this is what it looks like when it goes in your inventory. The inventory action set also adds UI. So if you press I, it will open the inventory, but you can see that it doesn't really look like anything and you kind of get stuck here. So f first of all, I will, fix the problem that you can't go back. Uh, it's essentially, it's just because it's set up, it's, it's focus is not set up. Okay, to, to fix the focus issue with the UI, you need to go to proto inventory test, and then it's not under the user interface, it's right here. So inventory screen. So this is a common activatable widget. And those usually kind of need to get some sort of focus to know that 
they are on top of the stack, the UI stack. So you need to set that it is focusable. And then under your graph, you can override the function get desired focus target. This is what the uh, common UI uses to determine which UI is currently focused. So I'll just drag this and type in reference to self. So now when you play, it should be easier to just escape out of the inventory. So you press I, you press escape, it leaves and it doesn't, it doesn't get you stuck. Now it would be great to have an icon for when you pick up the items and for it to go in the UI. Um, so we'll, we'll set up some, we'll, we'll, we'll reuse what the uh, weapon pickups use. So for this one, you could see in the details for the interactable rock, it uses the item definition test ID rock. So let's navigate there. And the inventory item definition is really nice to work with. You can add a fragment, uh, which you, there's a bunch of different ones you can add. Uh, for now, I will just use the quick bar icon because it's the only one with the texture. And for the brush, I'll use a uh, cube. Yeah, I'll use this cube texture. So compile, save. Uh, you'll, you'll still see that it won't show up in the inventory after you pick it up. So this is in part due to just, oh, wrong key. Okay, so this is due to some um, gameplay ability not using the target. It was using the player as a pickupable. So let's fix that right now. Okay, so let's stop this simulation. And now we want to go find our collect ability. So that ability is inside Shooter Maps Proto Inventory Test Interact. So the issue with the G Interaction Collect, and you can set breakpoints to, to see, um, is when it tries to add a pickup inventory, it gets the pickupable from Actor Info. And that code actually checks for the information about the avatar of the gameplay ability, which is actually the hero pawn and not the rock. So to fix that, uh, we you, you could you could update the code, uh, but what we can do is you can just grab the target out of the gameplay event data, and you can cast it to. Uh, pick up a bowl. So cast pick up a bowl. And so let's connect these. So when the cast succeeds, it will add this pickup to your inventory. If it fails, uh, let's let's just have it hooked up to end ability so the ability will end successfully. So now let's test the ability. So when you Go, you interact with it. Now you pick up a bowl is the interactable rock. So this should work fine. So there you go. So we picked up two inventory, or maybe we picked up three. So you see the inventory itself, the UI is not updating with the right texture. So let's fix that next. So to, to navigate to the inventory tile, it's under proto inventory test and then inventory tile. Then navigate inside the graph. So whenever an item, so, so the item list is bound to this inventory tile. And so this gets called every time uh, an object is trying to be set. And so the list item object is actually an instance of the inventory item. So we'll cast this to inventory item instance. And now from then we want to get the texture. So we will try to get the fragment. 
So get find fragment by class. And then the class is the quick bar icon. And then I think we can just get the sprite. I was just icon get get brush and then we'll we'll set this to our images brush let's compile and save so then when we play it should be the image of the cube in our inventory ah there you go okay so the first one is actually the gun you you have on your character. So that's why there's two. Oh. So you pick up. And there you have it. So now you have, they're just unique instances from item definitions. I still haven't figured out how stacks work. So hopefully I can figure that out and share. So yeah, there you have it. Now you can easily pick up items. You can create new collectibles. I can actually show you this right now. So let's navigate where the interactable rock is. So browse. And it's also under Proto. Proto. So let's, or, or let's add another interactable rock, but set it as a different item definition. So let's just drag it in. And this one will say it's a tree. So when you pick it up, it should add a tree to your inventory. So let's navigate to tree. And this one, let's give it a different icon. So the brush, maybe it is a tree. Let's see. Uh, Let's say that the tree is this texture. Okay, so compile, save. And then when we play, if we pick up the tree, it'll look like this. So then when we pick up the rocks, it'll be the other one. So there you have it. You can create as many collectibles as you want.